Olá pessoal, tudo bem? Bora agora falar de High Performance Computing, a AWS Reinvent de 2022 trouxe algumas novidades legais da AWS nesse ponto, vamos ver aqui. Então, primeiro, foram quatro grandes lançamentos ali, né? três deles né, focados aí em instâncias novas ali de processamento, então o C7GN, o INF2 e o EC2. Então a gente vai checar cada um deles aqui. E o AWS SimSpace Weaver, né? uma plataforma aí de simulação. Bora conferir aqui. Então, né? só repassando aqui, o foco principal foi voltado a, a novas instâncias, a simulação. E acho que a AWS tem né, tentado reforçar ano após ano ali a sua capacidade de produção própria ali de hardware, né? de, de conseguir é, oferecer aos seus clientes sempre uma, é, um upgrade ali, ano após ano, sempre tem alguma instância é, com maior capacidade de, de processamento. Então esse ano não foi diferente, vamos lá conferir. Então a primeira delas foi o C7GN ou C7GN, né? é uma nova instância ali, para estender a utilização do Graviton 3, né, a terceira versão do, do Graviton, para EC2. Vamos conferir. Mas não paramos lá. Nós desenvolvemos o nosso próprio processador, começando com o Graviton, que hoje entrega a performance melhor de end to end e a energia eficiência. Nós estamos agora na nossa terceira geração de processadores com o AWS Graviton 3. And Graviton 3 based instances are 25% faster than Graviton 2 and use up to 60% less energy than comparable EC2 instances. Customers of every size have adopted Graviton and they're achieving up to 40% better price performance simply by shifting their workloads to Graviton instances. For example, DirecTV chose Graviton 3 instances, reducing costs by 20% and latency by up to 50%. And they're able to scale up for daily traffic spikes and scale down when it's not needed, all with performance, with security, and with availability for their fleet. So today we over, have over 100 different Graviton instances, and we're far from done. La yesterday, last night, Peter DeSantis announced the new C7GN instance, powered by Graviton 3, which has over 200 gigabits per second network bandwidth and up to 50% higher packet processing over existing network optimized instances. This makes C7GN ideal for network intense workloads and uh, things like analytics, databases, and network appliances. And Graviton isn't only powering EC2, it's also driving better price performance for many of our managed services. For example, with Fargate, you can see up to 40% better price performance. Então, aqui... Dá para a gente ver bem aqui os serviços né, que já, é, já possuem processamento ali pelo processador próprio ali da, da AWS, que é o Graviton. Então, esse é dois, Lambda, Fargate, ElastiCache, OpenSearch e Aurora. É, acho que a tendência, né, cada vez mais, é a AWS ir para essa linha de, de ter seus próprios processadores evoluindo e as instâncias irem sendo criadas em cima desses novos processadores e os ganhos de performance que eles apresentam são muito grandes não só em termos de velocidade de processamento mas também de redução de custos né? vamos ver o próximo o próximo é o INF2 vamos conferir now there are also a growing number of workloads that require extreme performance one of them is machine learning There are two main types of machine learning workloads, training and inference. Training uses create new models, and inference uses those models to generate predictions. And these models are growing exponentially in size as researchers and businesses push the boundaries of what's possible. Just three years ago, the state of the art of deep learning models included millions of parameters, and today they've grown to hundreds of billions of parameters. That's a 500 times increase. The growth in model size is expanding the time required to train them from days to weeks, even months in some cases. 
And this is driving exponential growth in training costs. And that's why we built our Trainium chips to deliver the highest performance for machine learning training. TRN1, our Trainium-based instance, delivers the best price performance for training deep learning models in the cloud, reducing the cost to train by up to 50% compared to similar GPU-based instances. Speaking of extremes, TRN1 delivers up to 800 gigabits per second of network bandwidth, so you can easily train large-scale models across multiple servers, reducing training times back down from months to weeks or even days. So once you've trained your ML model, Using it to generate predictions in real time can also require extreme performance. That's why we built INF1 instances, powered by our Inferentia chip, to deliver low latency, low cost inference. INF1 delivers up to 70% lower cost per inference than comparable GPU-based EC2 instances. For example, Qualtrics builds products that use machine learning to analyze millions of data points originating from surveys, from call center interactions, and from social media. Using model compression on AWS Inferentia, they doubled their inference throughput while reducing cost per inference by 40%. Now, Influent is great for small to medium complexity models, but for larger models, customers have often relied on more powerful instances that don't actually have the optimal resource configuration for their inference workloads. Just like Amundsen choosing dogs over ponies, you want to choose a solution that's best fit for your specific needs, which is why today I'm excited to announce the preview of our Inf2 instance powered by our new Inferentia 2 chip. <laughs> Customers can deploy a 175 billion parameter model for inference on a single Inf2 instance with four times higher throughput and one-tenth the latency of INF1 instances. Então, essa é uma instância mais voltada ali a machine learning, né? É, treinar modelos ali com muito mais parâmetros, né? Ter uma capacidade de processamento mais adequada aí para esses cenários. E mais uma novidade aqui foi... Uh, o EC2 instances for HPC, vamos conferir. HPC workloads typically can either be compute intensive, compute and networking intensive, or data and memory intensive. Compute hungry workloads include weather forecasting, computational fluid dynamics, and financial options pricing. To help with this, we have the HPC 6A instance, which, which delivers up to 65% better price performance over comparable compute-optimized x86-based instances, and provides support for the broadest set of ISV solutions. So depending on size and complexity, many of these compute-intensive workloads also require more network performance. And for these workloads, last night Peter announced the new HPC 7G instances, powered by Graviton 3E, an elastic fabric adapter. The 7G offers even more computer networking capabilities to meet your demands and your more extreme workloads. Now, the third type of HPC workload requires modeling the performance of complex structures, things like wind turbines, concrete buildings, industrial equipment. But without enough data and memory, these models can take days or weeks to run in a cost-effective way. And so for these type of workloads, again, good enough simply isn't good enough. So today, we're announcing the new HPC 6ID instances. 6ID, 6ID instances are designed to deliver leading price performance for data and memory intensive HPC workloads with higher memory bandwidth per core, faster local SSD storage, and enhanced networking with elastic fabric adapter. With 6A, 7G, and 6ID, AWS offers HPC instances with the best price performance for each of your specific workloads. Então aqui foram mais duas novas instâncias ali para EC2, né? Uma mais voltada ao autoprocessamento, a outra com maior capacidade de, me de memória. Então a AWS está né, tornando ali 
as instâncias adaptáveis ali para cada necessidade, para cada cliente, você vai encontrar ali instâncias mais adequadas. E vamos conferir aqui o lançamento do AWS Sim Space Weaver. Siemens is one of many companies using AWS to power simulations. Now, simulations are a type of HPC that's becoming more and more prevalent as real-world scenarios are just too expensive, time-consuming, dangerous, or flat-out impossible to build and test live. Simulation workloads are massive and highly complex, and they use specialty software to spread the computation out across multiple compute instances. Conventional simulations, like weather forecasting, can be supported with this type of scale-out processing. But there's an emerging, more complex type of simulation called spatial simulations. Spatial simulations model how high-level entities like people, objects, how they all act within a multidimensional environment. This is a more complex situation than a classical simulation and requires millions and millions of, of real-time interactions. For example, spatial simulations can be used to model an urban city like London or LA to help improve traffic flow, uh, safety, to, impact, to assess the impact of new housing projects and developments, and to optimize emergency plans for disaster response. To do this, the simulations need to deal with millions of people, cars, traffic lights, railways, bridges, and more, each with its own associated behaviors and properties. So like an actual city, this simulation is an expansive world all unto itself. And today, if you're thinking about modeling spatial systems, it makes sense to use a 3D engine. 3D engines are well-suited for virtual environments because they can model these high-level behaviors while still supporting fine-grained details. But 3D engines were never designed for scaling out to multiple compute nodes, and so developers are left with a choice. They can either limit the size of their simulation and run it on a single piece of hardware, or they can spend a lot of time and effort toiling over complex, messy systems to scale out and uh, have the simulation run on the 3D engine. So we knew this was a trade-off that customers should not have to make. So today, I'm very excited to announce AWS SimSpace Weaver, a new managed service for running large-scale spatial simulations. With SimSpace Weaver, you can run large-scale simulations without being constrained by a single piece of hardware or having to manage the underlying compute, memory, or networking infrastructure. And this means that developers can spend more time building and understanding their simulations and less time deploying and scaling them. Once you've designed your simulation in a 3D engine, you upload your performance code and then configure a job in just a few clicks. Behind the scenes, SimSpace Weaver automatically distributes spatial simulation across the 3D engine, spreading the areas of the world across multiple EC2 instances. So SimSpace Weaver enables objects to move seamlessly from one instance to another as they move across different areas of the simulation, enabling expansive worlds without sacrificing the details of 3D objects with real-time interactions. SimSpace Weaver integrates with the most popular 3D engines like Unreal Engine, Unity, and even custom simulation engines via the SimSpace SDK. With SimSpace Weaver, you can stay focused on building your simulation code and creating the content to fill these expansive worlds instead of managing infrastructure. Whether you're using the power of new HPC instances or scaling simulations with SimSpace Weaver, we're looking forward to supporting all of your simulations at scale, continuing to help you push the boundaries of what's possible. Então, o Simspace Weaver é uma ferramenta voltada a simulações tridimensionais né? para contextos aí que a gente vive no mundo real. Então, análise de tráfego, é, comportamentos né, de, das cidades de um modo geral podem ser feitas aí através desse novo produto da, da AWS. Então, a promessa é de que os engenheiros que trabalharem com esse tipo de simulação vão perder menos tempo para conseguir fazer o deploy e escalar a sua simulação, se preocupar menos com o ambiente e mais em si com 
a própria simulação. Então, bem interessante, acho que vale a pena experimentar para quem trabalha com esse tipo de coisa. E fechando aqui com as nossas conclusões sobre High Performance Computing, teve bastante foco ali da AWS em performance a baixo preço, né? Então, frase mais ouvida ali, 50%, 50% better price performance. Não necessariamente esse mesmo percentual, mas né, praticamente todas as instâncias é, teve ali um, algum percentual de melhoria na relação de preço performance. Então, bem bacana ali o avanço da, da AWS com o seu hardware próprio, com suas ferramentas de simulação. E acho que cada vez mais a AWS fecha um ciclo com seus clientes de que ela tem tudo o que é necessário, desde o hardware até toda a plataforma, as, as aplicações, para que cada cliente possa se preocupar apenas com aquilo que é exclusivo do seu próprio negócio. Muito obrigado e até mais.